Welcome to the next segment in our Day in the Life series. In this series, we are covering the details of how to be a successful SolidWorks PDM administrator. Today, we're going to be talking about manually setting revisions on our files. To do this, we're going to utilize the set revision utility from within the PDM client to make our changes. In this example, we'll be working with files in our CAD workflow. To start out, we need to make sure that the workflow state where our CAD files are sitting has the set revision permission enabled for the logged in user. To make sure, we're going to go to our state, click on the group where our user is located, and make sure that the set revision permission is checked. Also, if this is something we're going to be doing on a regular basis, it might be wise to add a transition that is specifically used for this type of situation. In this case, my transition is going to be this bypass approval revision already set. I'm going to use this one because the actions have been removed so that there's no way the transition will bump my revision after I've manually set it. Once we have that setting enabled, don't forget to save your workflow. We can now use the set revision utility to manually update a file's revision to the correct level. To find the set revision utility, click on a file that's checked into the vault, click on modify, and then set revision. Once you do that, you'll get this set revision utility pop up uh, with some different options in it. So in this example, we're going to update the rev level of a legacy part that's been recreated in SolidWorks from an old DWG. Now this old legacy drawing is currently sitting at rev D. We would like our new SolidWorks part to start out at rev E. So I've already taken and added the recreated SolidWorks part and drawing into the vault starting out at rev E. Or at least that's what my data card says. If you notice, when I push the file through my workflow, it's going to jump back to Rev A. That's because the system doesn't know that I want my drawing in my part to be at Rev E. It assumes that the files are brand new and that I want to start them out as A. How do we correct this? It's actually pretty easy. When we drop our files into the vault, they're gonna end up in a work in progress state. So that's the state where we enabled that set revision permission for the CAD approver users. So these new files that I've brought in are showing up the same way again as E. Only this time, I'm gonna tell the database that I want the revision to start at E so that when I push these forward, they don't revert back to A. To do this, I'm going to grab the drawing, click on Modify, click on Set Revision. Again, we get this window here where we can make some choices. In this case, I'd like to set the revision for both files, and you can see what variables on the data card. From this New Revision column, I can pick the variable that I want the file to sync with. In this case, I want it to be E. I'll do the same for the drawing and click OK. Now when we look at the file's history, we can see that the revision E has been set to coincide with what's on the data card. So now when I push my files to the workflow, I'm also going to take advantage of that bypass approval revision already set transition. That way the rev that I set in work in progress can follow through to release. If we take a look at our file now, as it sits in released, we can see that it's in Rev E as well as released. That method would work out well if we were doing a file or two at a time. But what if I needed to move an entire folder of legacy items into my vault and all those files are set at different revision levels? Within PDM, I can select an entire folder and modify the revisions for all the items in that folder. Let's go ahead and copy two folders into our vault into our current project setup. Next, I'll check in all the content from both folders.
based on what we did before, we know that the files were brought in and they're going to start out at Rev A. However, I could take advantage of the set revision utility on an entire folder. I'm going to go ahead and select the folder, go to modify, set revision, and now I see all the files listed in that folder and their respective revisions. We can see this data card variable column and it shows all of the files and how their properties are set to specific revisions. Since this matches my current revision scheme, I can take advantage of the values that are already in place. To set all of the values based on the data card value, I can right click, hit select all revision values based on the card variable value. When I do this, the new column will match the existing value on the data card variable column. I don't have to set each one individually. From here, I'll go ahead and hit OK. Next, we're going to head into that folder and take a look at one of the files. We can see that the variable on the data card matches the variable value in the system. 